back to the show, everybody. Welcome back to the show. I'm just gonna go out for a little drive here. Probably go and see Kelly at work. Just kind of give you an update on the truck. Um, the other day, I went and replaced the uh, belt tensioner. Is it started getting to the point? Like when I first bought it, it was nice and quiet. Then as I uh, kind of went along, you know, when it would start it in gear, it'd squeak a bit. And then it got to, you know, if I if I started it when it was on AC and then when it was on the fan. Then it got to the point that the belt would squeak if I was, you know, just turning it on. And it would squeak for just a few minutes and then uh, eventually it would stop squeaking and away I'd go. But what was happening and uh, I realized this as I had uh, taken the tensioner off. The tensioner had lost its tension and was, every time there was a load put on, on the tensioner, it would push it back, but it wouldn't spring back to where it should have been. So uh, I ended up replacing that and then uh, I got the brake line, took care of that, uh, the front brake. All right, we got the brakes off. We got the uh, rotor finally off. Got all four bolts off of this thing. This thing is ready to come off. This hose needs to be replaced. It goes all the way up to there somewhere and then down. So this caliper is gonna go and then this rotor is gonna go and that hose is gonna go. Um, I was able to do it at the, uh, at the garage there. Um, took it there, they weren't too busy so I got the parts and brought it. We, uh, the day before I did the, the actual work, I had uh, gone there and used the tools and cleaned up the rotor uh, because the rotor itself is still really good. It just had a little bit of surface rust on it. The other one that they gave me was absolutely useless. Um, but basically we needed that rotor and the hubs. When we took the, uh, the first rotor off, we... Uh, <laughs> I had a hard time getting it off. What ended up happening was all the uh, the bearings came apart, and the back of the the bearing, the hub, was rusted onto the uh, the frame and the, uh, the axle. Well, not the axle, but uh, the rest of the, the frame for the for the wheel. So with a little bit of persuasion, it ended up uh, coming undone. Cleaned it up a bit, made sure that everything would run nice and smoothly. All right, so we've got the uh, the bearing off finally. That didn't take too long, really. Got the, uh, the new line put on. I'm just getting the line in now. I got that up there, I got it bolted in. I've just got to uh, play around with getting the rest of this line in. Looks like it's off kilter just a little bit, so I'll have to make sure that goes in straight. And uh, buttoned everything back together. Now I've got two brakes. It's kind of nice. It almost feels like brand new. It looks a little squishy, but we still got to do the back. We still got to run line to the back, and then from there, we're not too sure on what it's going to look like because who knows when the last time those brakes would have been actually used. So, kind of up in the air, and I'm still kind of, you know, hoping that it's not that bad. But uh, you never know. Lack of use, everything can seize up on it. So. Um, what else did I do? Well, we uh, we banged out the uh, and pulled out the bumper a little bit. Uh, a little bit of fine tuning still to do, but I'm not too worried because I still don't know what I'm going to do if I'm going to just get a new bumper on there or you know what. It doesn't look too bad. I've taken off the gray uh, on the bottom, but uh, yeah, it's, it, you know, I mean you can tell it's not. You know, it's because it's got the little holes in it and everything. Maybe I'll put chicken lights all around it. I don't know. I'll figure that out as we go along. Went to Big R. Uh, for those of you not in the Midwest area, Big R is kind of a country. It's kind of like the uh, the Midwest answer to uh, not quite Walmart, maybe Kmart or Target. Um, you got everything country in that in that store. So um, went there with uh, with Scott, looking for something else. I think for his truck. And we ended up finding a chrome hitch cover. Now it's plastic, but for a buck. So 
ended up getting that, and then he gave me the, the little hitch, the, the, the pluggy blue, to uh, put it on there. And then I bought some uh, spray paint, it was like two bucks for the spray paint, ended up painting the, uh, the hitch. I'm probably going to go back over it, I'll take it to the shop and uh, kind of go over it, because it just went over the rust and the stickers and everything. Um, I might take it down to the metal and, uh, and repaint it then, but at the very least it looks better than it did before. Um, other than that, I've installed the light bar on the truck. And look at the shadow, it's freaking awesome with them lights on the truck. <laughs> Scott talked to his friend who's the uh, fire chief in, uh, in town. And uh, the fire chief said that I could have the lights on the truck Nothing illegal or wrong about that. Um, I just could not turn them on and play with them. Um, which, I mean, even if I was volunteering right now, I mean, I wouldn't do that because that's just dumb. They don't need to be on, and, you know, they don't need to be on. Unless I'm on Scott's driveway, which is way out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I guess I should take a video of the truck with the lights. Got the lights up there. Like I said, they're not plugged in. Got the amber wigwags on the back. And uh, I need to repolish them, get them kind of cleaned up a little bit. But other than that, looking pretty good. Yeah. You know, other than that, I've got I can I could use the the takedown and the alleys and the rear wig wags as I've left them amber. And uh, amber isn't illegal. Blue would be though. So I've got them on the truck. Haven't um, haven't wired them up yet. I'm going to do that here in a little bit. Once I get other things done with the truck, that's a little bit more important. Um, and uh, I'm thinking what I'm thinking about doing is I got a guy that has some diamond plate, some of the thin diamond plate. I'm thinking about molding a box, just a small little box, and go on to like the pilot or something, because they got some pretty nice toggle switches with LEDs. Scott said he saw a blue, blue LED, which would be really cool, kind of color coded. But I'm thinking about making a diamond plate control box and sticking it right here on the dash beside the CB. Um, we'll see how that goes. I've really got to fix this tripod. It's kind of really annoying me. <laughs> it, uh, yeah, it's, it's old, it's broken. Um, so yeah, that's sounds a little bit windier in here. I gotta really adjust this door. That was a bad shit. Gotta adjust this door. It's uh, one of those things I'll get around to. And this road is just it's atrocious. Even in the Taurus, it's atrocious. So I guess I'll end it here. That's basically uh, what all has been going on with the truck. So nothing really else to uh, tell you, anyways. Um, yeah, when I get more work done, I'll uh, make another video. What do you think? Till next time!